Mexico. Welcome to my venture. My name is Hector Nunez, and I'm here with representing PDT Electric, also known as the Power and Distribution and Transmission Company. I'd like to start off with this thought that one of our greatest inventors of all time, Nikola Tesla, mentioned, and it goes like this. So Nikola Tesla said, inventions is the most important product of man's creative brain. The ultimate purpose is the complete mastery of mind over material, material world, the harnessing of human nature to human needs. Now, the takeaway is that we are in a market where human need, humans are in need of services, and it is essential for everything on the market because today, everything we have runs essentially on power. And unfortunately for me, where I'm from, when I was growing up in Mexico, power was somewhat of an issue. And what I mean by that is that we had outages some days, and like outages would go on for hours, sometimes for days. And sometimes issues about electricity persist across the globe because we have currently about 16% of the world's population uh, to this day only has no, electric, has no um, electrical net generation of power at all. Like in the South Sudan, there's no there's no power generation, there's no transmission, there's none none of that. And here we have that luxury, or the, I, I call it luxury because we we were fortunate enough to flip a switch and have power, and that's something that not everybody can do. And something I like to show you is that, as you can see here, there's a picture of a lineman coming to fix an outage. But if you pay close attention, you can see that the amount of wires being drawn from the source to power are powering multiple houses, and these type of solutions are prone to fail because that. Fall occurs at any of the houses. On that fall, you can lose power, and until the they try to they try to fix it, they try to repatch it. But a lot of the times, it was just temporary fixes, and the, a lot of the times, the, the CFE is content with those. But it's not something that should be done. I I, I suggest that, or I propose, I guess, from for my venture is that they we take a new and we design a new system, a new a new power distribution system where there can be minimal outages. With reliable source of power, and we have that we have in more developed countries, like the United States, France, England, and something I'd like to just to point out as cost as what they do now. Right now, Mexico is currently charging, and this is in dollars. But it's, it's approximately eight cents per kilowatt hour, or in other sense, if we were to scale that up, it's four to five dollars per megawatt hour per household in a residential household, of course. And from a customer standpoint, I believe that if you're paying for electricity, you would expect that the benefit of reliable that you would have a reliable and effective design system for power distribution because you're paying for that service and that's something that needs to be given to you because you're paying for it. And so the idea, if I'm honest with you, the idea of creating a distribution system or or more effective distribution system is attainable by plainly going to the CFE. And what I mean by that is that the CFE or the Federal Electricity Commission, it regulates this power net generation, such as here we have APS or SRP. And in Mexico, they're the front runners for electrical distribution and transmission. And what I've noticed in my evidence pitch deck laying is that many users have told me that when powers go when their power goes off, and especially I'm getting this from my grandmother, she says that they only do temporary fixes and eventually the problems do persist again. They have outages such as sometimes they'll have power outages during rainstorms or something that we have here. We have rainstorms during monsoon season, but the power the power doesn't go off or it'll go off, but it's not as bad or we have it back in a matter of hours or matter of minutes, hours, hour, one hour and a half. Over there it's probably a couple of days that they wait to do that. And what I'm trying to say here is that I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel. The issue here is that how how can we how can we take a distribution system that already exists and is in place and effectively iterate it to better meet the needs of those affected by those outages or that transmission inefficiency. And the reason I say this is because the users are directly affected by this because what I'm trying to propose is that we bridge that gap in aiding customers with power outages. And even those who currently have no power, how can we take a system that's already in place and scale it to that, to that specific need or that use that they have it in their current conditions and like like i mentioned uh the c the cfe i'm currently working on this venture looking for ways of ideas of of either building a new distribution system or fixing one but if i'm honest with you the uh, idea of building a new distribution system or even building a power plant to supply gener net generation in a, in a third world country uh it's insurmountable thing it's an unthinkable number it's an unthinkable cost to do this 
if we were going to scale it where it was at in Mexico is if I, you would have to go through the CFE and this would have to be funded by them or it had to be funded through the government itself. And the reason I say this is because like they, the payers themselves is you're, you're paying for the, the electricity, right? So if, if there's an effect there, there has to be something that the government or the CFE has to say, hey, we have to fix this. This is the issue. We have to go into that, into that design system and adjust this or edit this. And that's something that we have to take into account. Now, the the downsider would be that when adjusting power is power consumption depends on loads and houses and each load has a different price. So there could not be, there would be a fixed price on how much net generation there would be, but it would depend on each consumer, consumer depending on the amount of electricity that they do use and not into taking into account if you were to build a plant, how much would it cost to do that? Or what would be the cost of labor, the maintenance materials, all this all this that's economical that we have to take into account for this proposed solution or this idea of what we could do to be able to either create a new system from scratch or, hey, take this system that we have and adjust it to what we need. And that's essentially what we're trying to do here. And now for for my for this project, I'm currently in talks with two, two ASU professors. Uh, I don't have them listed on the slide here, but it's two ASU professors specialized in power. Uh, one of them is a uh, professor Holbert. He's a uh, specialized in power plant technologies and fault sensor detection. And also my other professor, uh, Dr. Vital, he specializes in grid integration of renewable sources, uh, as well as sensor systems for large power, large scale power systems and catastrophic prevention of power system failures. So I look for them in guidance with the current situation that I have talked to them about and see, try to get their input on. And I've also tried to take into account uh, from my from my interviews what they think of it as well as have a develop, I'm trying to have a developed proposal for the, by the end of the semester of what I expect to do.